Okay, so good morning students. I would like to uh, ask those students on time you can see what's on my screen. I'm sharing this screen to my I'm, I'm sharing my screen to you. Please confirm if you can see it. Here, here. I want to join too. Yes, hold on. I know you are you are already in the near part, so wait for the instructions. So all the they will only be shared once all of your classmates are already in the near part. Okay? Why? Comment section or enter the whole oh, given. Why, 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 why? Yes, Okay, fantastic. Join the near part What's the code? The code is here. You may also click the link which I have given in the comment section. Clear? Since we are going to plan a report, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to discuss to the class the purpose of writing or uh, planning a report. Okay? You are also able to distinguish how to write a report and of course, this, will, this is the first uh, the time for you to draft your own report. Distinguish. Is that clear? Hi, uh, my uh, microphone is working clearly, but I cannot hear. I can hear you, but it's too far. Can you come a little bit closer to the mic? I am uh, using my headphones. It's actually uh, with me, okay? So I do not know. It's just you that you cannot. Uh, it's only you who cannot hear me well. All of your classmates online can hear me well. Uh -huh. you cannot uh, hear your eyes, right? So for our activity, I want you to match the vocabulary word to the correct definition. I have five unfamiliar words and all you have to do is to tap the unfamiliar word and its correct uh, corresponding definition. Are we clear? Yes. So timer starts now. Two, one, start! Okay, let's go. Top the answer for vocabulary word and its definition. I will give house points for those students who will get all the correct answer in the least number of tries. On the screen, it's showing the number of tries and the score that you've got for our activity. You only have one minute and 31 seconds. You don't have to hurt to... Uh, be hurry, just think, so you will get all the correct answers in the least number of tries. Mr. Rolf, I don't think you're standing. That's why. We will unlock the unfamiliar words later. Sir, it took me nine tries. Okay. So, Ahmad, Caleb got uh, all the correct answers in seven tries. Leah in eight tries. Ahmed and Adam, Adam, uh, nine tries. Yes. Maham got in six tries. So Maham got the first house point for today. Very good, Maham. Last 23 seconds. Eight tries. For today. All the correct answers. Say yesterday, I was like, not Okay, anyway, while you are still waiting for your classmates, you can take a screenshot of those unfamiliar words. And it's meaning, and you can write it down on your notebook. So you will be familiarized yourselves now with those unfamiliar words. Clear? Okay, time is up. So now let's try to view the pairs of unfamiliar words and its corresponding meaning. Number one, Maham, can you please read? Report. Okay, number one. Okay, so objective is an adjective that refers in relating to a person's judgment and not influenced by others' point of view. Okay, next, what is a trivia? Uh, uh, Men. Very good. When we say trivia, it is that a noun refers to additional pieces of information. Number four. When we say trivia, I wonder about the questions presented. The first question I have, uh, Riley, can you please read? Riley, can you please read the first question? 
What is a report and its and its importance? Very good. So on our uh, previous activity, we already unlocked the word report, and we found out that report is a person of. It is. What is a report again? Personal information. Hmm? What is a report? Uh, uh -huh. Telling telling what happened. Facts. Uh -huh. Sir, a report is something uh, that one has investigated or observed. Very good. That one has of uh, one has observed observed and investigated. Very good. Or so facts. we have to you have to think and wonder about its importance. Why is it important for you to record? What have you observed and what have you investigated? Why is it your classmates? Reason out and come up with one best answer to be written on your notebook. Are we clear? Yes. Should we write in a notebook and also? Yes. Your classmates are going to uh, send their answers. I want you to consider them and come up with one best answer from the questions I have presented and write it down on your notebook. Okay? Notes I have presented. About the questions which I have presented earlier. Did you accept mine? Okay. Mr. Rolf, did you accept mine? Okay, on your device, you can see the answers that your classmates are presenting. I want you to write on your notebook the ideas which, uh, the ideas you have for the questions I have presented earlier. Okay? Are we clear students? You may take a screenshot and uh, write on your notebook the answers for the questions I have presented earlier. For the questions, answers, and come up with one good idea to be written on your notebook. Clear? I received one from Elise and Dia. Okay, Dia, can you share your answer to the class? Dia. Yes, sir. Okay, so I want you to reason out. Why do you think we are studying report writing? Yeah, so we should learn about. Excuse me, can you please repeat it again? I think we should study report writing. It is so that we can learn more. Again, Riley, would like to. Do you agree to what Dia has said about her answer? Riley, do you hear me, Riley? Yes, sir. Okay. So do you do you agree to what um, Dia has said about the reasons why you should write a report writing? Yeah, I agree with her. Okay, can you uh, elaborate your answer? Why do you agree to her? Huh? Uh, because I'm just starting with types of writing a report involves being able to identify the audience and purposes of your report. Okay, fantastic. So I will now give you one half point for critical thinking. How about James? We are studying our report so that like someday we might need it. Okay, because someday you might need uh, the knowledge. Why do you need to write a report? As a your high school, then Maham, why is it important for you to write a report or to know how to write a report? Can I say? Because uh, uh, when we investigate something, we need to have proof that we found out or we uh, uh, investigated this thing or observed it. So we should have our proof that we found Very something uh, like, like that was never found. Or like um, it is also important because we want uh, uh, the world to know uh, what. Um, what is the importance of gathering up information Very and good. collecting it together? Very the world to know. Mr. Rav, can I say? Oh yes, Aliyah, can you answer my question? The uh, Maham just uh, mentioned gathering of information. Now, in writing a report, what type of information should you be able to provide or present to your audience? 
or to your readers? What type of information? Starts with letter L. Uh, facts? Very good. Oh, you have to present facts. What have, what, why do you need to present facts? Excuse me, Dad Celestino, answer me. Very good. So I want you to write that on your notebook. That's a uh, trivia. Okay, that's a key information that you want. You have to write on your notebook. Okay, so let's now discover ways on how we can plan a report. I have here the step by step procedure. Number one, you have to decide about the topic. Topic is very important. So the first, the, the very first step for you to plan a report is to decide about the topic. Okay, so once you have the topic, you have to decide now the purpose of your writing. Purpose, the reason. Why are you writing this kind of topic? Why do you want to address this topic to your audience? You have to know the purpose. Your purpose why you're writing a report. Are we clear? Next step, decide on the structure. If you are going to write a report, what type of words should you uh, present? If you are going... I woke up in the morning, I went to... I, I, I took a bath, then I slept again, then I ate my breakfast, then I watched the television, then I went to school. Okay, that's a very nice question. What will happen if you're going to present your ideas not in order? Okay, it's going to be messed up. So, better to present or decide on the structure of your writing. You must present it in an order. Okay, in a sequence or an order. Are we clear? So, you have to know your audience. Just like what the authors, Michael Morpurgo, uh, has did on his writings. He is addressing his poem or write our stories to young children. So he is using friendly words, words that can be easily understood by students like you. Are we clear? Yes. Next. Sir, can you facts. Give an example of a problem? Yes, you'll find out later. So facts, you have to find or present facts on your report. Then last step, today we will only be focusing on planning and drafting. Okay? So these are the uh, steps that I want you to consider. Now, we have already discovered ways on how will you plan your report. I will now be presenting to you ideas, okay? Ideas were put in different colors. I'll be presenting to you. First, this, first. Yes. So number your answers one to five. Number eight, James. The students online, do you have any question? You have to think which one should come first from the ideas presented. By the way, these ideas are from the reading passage you've learned this week entitled Animals, Animals on the Move Will the Beast Wild Track. On the Move Will the Beast Blue. Yes. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, raise your hand if you agree to Maha. Raise your hand if you agree to Maha. Okay, now let's see. The correct answer for our first uh, for our activity. So we have orange. Okay. We have pink. Oh, yeah. We have green. Water. We have blue. And we have I yellow. Water. Okay, let me know who are the students who got the correct answer. No. None? Okay, Stephen, you got the correct answer. Okay, very good. Uh, correct answer. No. Students need further assistance. Okay? So just type A or B. B can assess if you can already plan a story on your own. Story? So, sorry, sorry. Apologies. Plan a report on your own. Okay. Independ can plan their report independently. Well done, students. However, 10 students, 10%, sorry, 10% of... Uh, 
10% of the class needs further assistance. Sir, Abdul so, needs. I'll have a discussion for Abdul Rahman and uh, Aliyah. No worries, I will give you supplementary material that will help you to plan your report later. Clear? Yes. Are you clear? Okay. Now, for your independent practice, for Red Group, I want you to plan a report about wildebeest. Okay. So since we found out that wildebeest is the animal that goes through the toughest migration. So I want you to plan a report about wildebeest. I like that. You have to highlight the main idea on your report and include photographs. Peter, I agree with me. Picture oh, of the wildebeest. Yeah. Why do we have to picture the wildebeest of the and the... Yes, you can include the ideas you've learned from wildebeest wild track. Okay? The sure, real transition we've learned this week. Oh, hold on, hold on with your question. I will enter in once I'm done explaining your task. Okay? So for green task or green group, you have to plan a report about any animal migration. This week, we've learned about different animal migrations. Such as salmon, butterfly, wings, and arctic terns. Wings. And wildebeest. Wildebeest. Oh, wait, wait, one at a time. Blue and Yeah, any animal that goes through different migrations. So for blue tusks, your task is to think is to think about, aside from wildebeest, plan a report about which animal makes the toughest migration in terms of distance traveled and predator space. Sir! You have to include coordinating conjunctions in the challenge, highlight the main idea, uh, present photographs or pictures of that animal that you'll be discussing on your uh, report, and lastly, you have to um, yeah, get trivia. Are you here? Sure, sure, sure. Any questions? Sir, yeah, Maha. Sir, so in the task, blue task, uh, should we write the report, the whole report, or the only the draft? This is only a draft, okay? You so only, only have to present a draft. So only little information. Yeah, you can present it in bullet points. The paragraphs? You can uh, make uh, one paragraph that discuss the main topic, sure. or uh, one to two sentences that will discuss your topic. Sir, can we research? You can research, yeah. Okay, you can uh, do your planning on a PowerPoint presentation or any digital platform on your device. Okay, then later, post it on the seesaw. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Okay, timer starts now. Okay, then later, post Here it is. I'm uh, I'm writing about the mule deer, which has the most dangerous uh, migration, and it travels three uh, three hundred miles, and it lives in the north. Uh, north it yeah. lives in North America yeah, on United States on the west coast. Mule deer also okay. have been introduced oh, to Argentina uh, and Koi uh, in Hawaii. Sure Task is all about reporting, planning a report about animals, and I'm making one about wildebeest. I'm going to be telling, I'm going to be telling something about wildebeest, why their migration is considered as the toughest, and what predators they have to face. And the predators they have to face are coyotes, hyenas, lions, and cheetahs, and even crocodiles. Oh, uh, I'm not done with it, but okay. What predators are they going to face? Nothing, it's me, that's No, no, it's asking me. That's his task, that's his task. Based on your research, what predators or oh, which animals? Research more so you could provide all. Oh. 
about our plenary. So for our plenary, I want you to assess your own work. So I have here a checklist, okay? So my checklist will help you to assess how well did you able to, or how well were you able to plan a report. So use the graphic uh, light signals. We have colors green, red, and yellow, okay? So uh, try to think if you can clearly organize your work. It should be written in order, in chronological order. You can use BCOF. BCOF stands for vocabulary, connectives, open openers, and punctuations. You can also you should also write neatly, legibly, and accurately using maintaining a joint style. You should be able to develop ideas in creative and interesting ways. That's why I ask you to make uh, innovations and make it creative. Uh, make your presentation creative. Clear? So for the challenge, you should be able to include coordinating conjunctions in your writing. Then once done, think what went well on your presentation and how would you make it even better. Are you clear? Yeah. Any questions so far? No. None. Okay, go ahead. Do independent. Tomorrow. By tomorrow. So the instructions on how you will upload.